The Legend of the Christmas Tree by Rick Osborne. Tonight's the night we get our Christmas tree, sang Amanda and Beth. Presents, 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 chanted Buddy. Come and eat first, Mom called. At the dinner table, Dad prayed, Lord, thank you for food and fun. Help us keep Jesus in our hearts and minds more than ever this Christmas. After dinner, Mom said, Okay, time to get our tree. They snuggled up in the car together. Dad drove out into the snowy night. Why don't we go to a tree farm and cut our tree? Mom suggested. That's a great idea. Dad agreed. They drove down the bumpy dirt road and saw an old man in a red flannel shirt standing by three beautiful Christmas trees. Under one tree, they saw a box wrapped in shining silver paper. What's in that box? Amanda asked the man. The trees and the secrets in the box tell the legend of the Christmas tree, the man said. What is the legend? Please tell us, please, Buddy begged. The farmer told his story. Many years ago, a monk named Boniface taught people about God. He told them that the evergreen tree is a triangle with three corners, but it is still just one tree. He said that God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but it's still one God. People began using evergreen trees in churches to teach others about God. The old storyteller pointed to the first tree. During the time of knights and castles, people had a holiday on December 24th. They called it the Feast of Adam and Eve. They decorated evergreen trees with apples and twists of bread. They used it to tell the story of the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, but there was no Christmas tree yet. The farmer took two giant steps to the second tree. A long time ago, a teacher named Martin Luther saw a beautiful evergreen tree with starlight sparkling off its icicles. He cut down the tree and took it home. He put little candles on it and lit the candles. Then he told his children the story of Jesus, the light of the world. The storyteller moved to the third tree. Oh, that's my favorite tree, Beth said. The big man smiled. Soon, people in Europe began decorating trees with pretty glass ornaments and trees. And that is the legend of how we got the Christmas tree. Can we get our tree now? Buddy asked. I have just the one, said the farmer. and lifted a large tree that was leaning against the snack shack. Just for you, the farmer said with a wink. Dad tied the tree on top of their car, then the Jolly Tree Farmer handed Dad the box wrapped in silver paper. Don't open this until you've finished decorating your tree. Everyone called, thank you, sir, and they waved goodbye. The next morning, Amanda helped Dad put the tree into its stand. Beth and Buddy helped Mom in the kitchen. Dad sang and whistled Christmas carols, then he put the silvery box under the tree. Who remembers what Boniface told the people? Asked Dad. One tree has three corners. One God has three persons, said Amanda. Mom brought gingerbread cookies shaped like bread twists and apples from the kitchen. They looked like the ones on the Adam and Eve tree. As the kids helped Mom string life on the tree, Dad read the story of Jesus' birth. As soon as all their favorite ornaments were hung on the tree, Beth said, can we open the silver box now? Inside, they found a beautiful glass star with a note tied on it. Dad read the note. The wise men found Jesus under the star of Bethlehem. May all who see the tree under this star know the true meaning of Christmas. The end.